Greetings everyone, the good tonight here today with a review on the 511 shotgun shell pouch. Now there's not a lot of good pictures of this on the internet, which is always curious about it, so I put it in order and uh, so we 511 shotgun shell pouch. As you can see it's a 3x3 as far as it uses up molly, 3 across, and it uses the speed stick system, which is pretty cool, nice for getting on and off things. Now what's interesting is you have this little uh, velcro flap thing, so your shells won't fall out. And as long as it's mounted practically anywhere, you just reach your finger in there and grab a shell. Or, maybe you need more than one shell, you can reach your whole hand in there, grab what you can, and pull out like three shells. So, it's got a few options. And yeah, it's a small everything. There's a zipper here, so if you need to restock everything, make sure all the shells are facing the same direction. You can set them all up that way, and then it's uh, zipped closed and ready to go. And let's say perhaps you're not using it for shotgun shells. Just dump all those out right there. Also, you're kind of curious, it kind of just looks like that inside. There was uh, tags in there, I tore those out to make it more accessible. As you can see, finger goes through there and everything. So, it holds your cells in place, they won't fall out and go all over the place, and you can still get easy access to them. Which is nice. Now, airsoft-wise, you'll need to reload a shell at a time, so this is pretty much perfect, and uh... Yeah, not airsoft wise, you need to grab shovel, several shells to reload, so there's that. Now, on top of that, if you're not running a shotgun per se, it also makes a pretty nice utility pouch for, oh, let's say you have a cyclone grenade. You can stuff that in there. And maybe you have two cyclone grenades. Stuff the second one in there. And yeah, as long as they're seated properly, there we go, you can just zip that closed. Eh. So yeah, same size, two grenades. Pretty small. Yeah, you mount that wherever. Well, except for this side, you can't use the Velcro strap. You gotta undo that and uh, pull the grenade out. So yeah, pretty gnarly thing. It's also not terribly expensive from what I've seen. So yeah, there you go. Well, should I get you? Let's see, we got a little molly on the front. If you want to put like flashlights or I don't know, frill, chem lights, whatever you want to put through there, drainage grommet. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's also, I also like this uh, the way they set up the triple back here. So if you wanted to, you can uh, skip the first one, mount it to the second, or depending on whatever belt size you're using, you can mount this directly to your belt, which is pretty cool. Nice little feature with 511 they include for the speed stick system and whatnot. So yeah, there you have it. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's a pretty simple but very effective design. So I'm going to go mount this on my plate carrier. So, hope you all enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, just let me know. It does come in several different colors. And this one's, of course, Coyote Tan. We also have black, green. Um, I think they have a few in multicam. But yeah, so, options. Nice little square shape. Hold shells very well. I'm actually not entirely sure how many you can get in there. I have about... close to 12, 15-ish. So, and that was only taking about that much room. You could probably double stack them if you really so chose. So. It's, a, it's an interesting design. I definitely like it. I'm going to be using the future, so I'll let you guys know how that works out. So, take care, everyone. Cheers!